Hi, this is Max from Recent Expert, and I want to start a sort of video series in which we walk through an entire production in Recent to kind of enlighten you in your creative workflow and also for you to hopefully learn some techniques. As I said, uh, this will be a video series, so this will be video number one, and I'll go through the different stages of the production of an entire song as we go along and we'll make a video about arranging. This is going to be one of, of probably two videos on arranging. Uh, this is probably going to be the most boring one because the song's just starting out. Uh, then we're going to make another video for tracking where we track vocals and talk about uh, that. And then we're going to make a video on mixing and mastering. So I hope you enjoy these videos and if you like them I might keep doing them because uh, this way not only you learn, but I learn as well. Now, just for the record, I am mainly a pop ballad music producer, and I have a lot to learn, a lot to learn, about uh, urban music and EDM, so please don't be so harsh on me. I'm learning on the way. If you want to listen to stuff that I've done uh, and that I'm good at producing, I'll leave a link to my website in the description below. Uh, so enough talking, let's dig in. Uh, so basically what has happened so far in this song is um, we had a client come in and we kind of laid the backbone for a song. Uh, and it's, as I said, it's in its, its bare beginnings. And uh, there's a main uh, synth riff. There's acoustic guitars. A very simple drum loop. And... Uh, then I was kind of working on something in the chorus, uh, but it's not working out so far, so uh, I'll, I'll show you later uh, what I'm doing. So, about the drums, uh, let me solo the drums and have you listen to it a little bit. So it's basically uh, an 808 drum. It's Kurt Kurosagi's 808 refill. I think it's free on his website. Check it out. I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. Uh, so as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. I tracked each element separately to mute clips selectively. Uh, for example, in this intro, I didn't want the whole drums to be sounding. I just wanted the clap. So... Uh, uh, that's that's that that's only the clap um with the synth riff uh, that we made with the client um and yeah let's let's have a listen to the intro so that you can get a feel for the for what the song's going to be Right, um, it sounds fine. It's not uh, brilliant yet. Uh, hopefully, we get there. Uh, I'll make my best effort. Uh, so, going to the to one of the first problems in the production, I had a problem trying to making the kick drum stick out. Uh, we are still far from mixing, but I kind of I, I wanted the kick to sound uh, better uh, right away. And what I did, uh, just to show you, I, 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 th I think I learned this in one of Dave Pensato's uh, videos. Um, I laid the kick drum. Oh, let me solo that. And what I did is I created a parallel channel, a parallel version of the kick. Uh, and I EQ'd uh, most of the low end out. And then stuck in a distortion, a scream distortion, uh, which is kind of uh, creating a, s a snap. It sounds ugly on its own, but it creates this snap. And it makes the kick drum 
um, be a little bit more prominent in the mix. Um, so that's that with the drums so far. Uh, next, I'll talk about the bass. Uh, it's basically two different uh, bass patches. One of them, I think it's a sine wave with another uh, oscillator. Pretty straightforward. And then I laid that in with uh, an 808 kind of a pitched uh, kick drum. They're, that's their sound like together and that's the bass and then one of the main parts of, of the song so far is this synth uh, riff uh, is that how you call it a riff that's how you call it on guitars uh, hopefully that's what you call it on synths uh, so that's the synth riff and it's actually a preset in one of the confusion sound sets. I think they are free uh, in the recent uh, the propeller head shop. I'm not sure they could not be, uh, but uh, check it out. I I I they might be. And then what I did as well, uh, as I was talking before, I'm I'm good at, at more band stuff, uh, so I laid. In a guitar, I recorded a guitar twice and then p panned them hard left and right. And this is what they sound. Oh. And I EQ'd them. Uh, I took uh, the low end out, uh, some of the low end out. Uh, s some of the that part in the 500 hertz kind of ugly ugliness in the guitar and then um, boosted the high end a little bit and that's how they sounded that's how they ended sounding and this is how they sounded uh, when I recorded them so yeah that's pretty much it uh, for the verse and then the chorus is really uh, there's a lot to do in the chorus uh, as you can see, I was trying to oh, I was trying to uh, to lay down a lot of ideas, um, some of them which aren't working so far. So this is what what I have for the chorus so far. I still haven't come across a decent uh, snare sound, uh, but I will keep uh, searching for it. And this is how it transitions from the verse to the first chorus. And then it comes out. And it goes back to the verse. Uh, something neat I did here is I cut the guitar um, to make this effect of the guitar reversing. I actually reversed the clips and this is how they sound. Which sounds pretty neat uh, when going back from the chorus to the verse. And then I put some of these uh, samples, rice samples. To kind of accentuate the uh, entry of another section. And that's the production so far. Uh, there's still a long way to go, I think. Um, but uh, I think it's already sounding pretty decent. I'll make my best effort to make this song hopefully a hit record. I have. It's probably not ever going to make it into the radio, but, uh, but well, you never know. So, again, this is Max from Recent Expert, and this is the first video in the series of video on music production, of this song at least. 
And uh, stick around if you want to see how it ends up. Uh, hopefully you will get new ideas and uh, you'll get inspired and, and learn a couple of things. Just as I am learning on the way doing this. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you later.